in this session we will learn how to merge two data sets in uh, sas using base sas we can of course merge two data set using proc sql but uh, using base sas how do we do that i have taken two data sets the same data sets that uh, i heard earlier used uh, in the proc sql sessions employee data set having four employees uh, i have got two uh, columns id and name of the employee in the second table i have salary um got two columns there also id and salary uh you, you can take a look at the data sets uh, there are four employees 1 2 3 4 uh the id is r1234 whereas in the second uh, data set the data set salary uh id is 3 4 are missing but id 5 which is an extra employee or which is uh, that employee is not there in the first uh, table in the employee table so that's about the data sets we will merge the two data sets in base sas uh as if you have gone through to my videos on uh, inner join and outer join uh, in proxy sql you would have seen how do we merge uh, two data sets using inner join and out left outer join right outer join we'll we'll uh, do the same exercises using uh, the merge statement in in base sas okay so in the data statement itself we will do that the advantage with data statement over proxy sql Uh, while merging is that it it's faster its performance is much better so if you are merging to very huge voluminous data sets it's it's always recommendable that you go in for the uh, merge statement using the data step uh, in the data step rather going in for uh, the sql the first thing i'll do is the inner join okay let me write the code data merge data so i am creating a data final data is merge data i am merging two data set merge employee and then salary well clo uh, we have to put two things here in equal to a and then in equal to b so we denote these two data set as a and b instead of employee and salary by id so id is our unique id is the uh, primary key in both the data sets we cannot have a duplicate there we use that primary key here in the by statement by id we want to merge by id okay the condition is that for in not join So what is inner join? If if we can recall, we want the only the matching cases, the, only the matching IDs. If you look at the data set, how many matching IDs are there in the two data uh, two data sets? Well, only one, uh, only two, right? Employee ID one and employee ID two. Both are present in both the data set. but 3 4 are not present in the second data set and uh, id 5 is not present in the first data set employee in the employee data set so uh, we expect that in the final data set will have only two values okay so what is the condition we put if a and b that means it has to be there in both the data set a means employee data b means the salary data so if the observation or the id is there in both the data set only when it is it will be there in the uh, merged data or in the final data let us print the final data That's right. So we were expecting this on the screen. You can see only 
ID 1 and 2 are present in both the data set. So only the matching cases are there in the final data set. Let's do the left join or left outer join. In left outer join, we ensure that the left data set, the uh, information there in the left data set and the first data set. So your left data set here is employee, right? Is there in the output and only the matching cases from the right data set or the second data set. Okay, so we'll have one employee ID 1, 2, 3, 4 in the final data set and only the uh, salary information for 1 and 2 will be there in the uh, final data set. Condition will change. The condition will become if A. If A means if the ID is present in data set A, you merge these two data set and give me the result. Okay. So, uh, remember one thing here that the left data set is the employee data set. Okay. We have denoted it, denoted it as 1. Sorry, A. So, if A. Let's print it. Right. Same result as we have already seen in the uh, left outer join in Proxypel. We have all the information from the first table. We have IDs, all the names, but only the matching rows from the second table. Matching rows we can find it out only for uh, ID 1 and 2. For 3 and 4 we don't have. Similarly, we can do the right outer there. Only change that we need to make is if B. Okay, all information from the second table or the second data set and only the matching information from the first table. Right. ID is 1, 2, 5. It's there in the second data set and their corresponding salary. But names are available only for 1 and 2. Because name is coming anyway from the first data set, right? So we don't have names there uh, for uh, ID 5. What we uh, what else we can uh, we do? Uh, we can of course do a full join as well. Uh, well, that is left as an exercise. You can obviously try using uh, uh, merge. Just think about the logic. You can uh, do the uh, full join uh, using the uh, merge data set uh, data step. Uh, so one of the advantages, as I've already mentioned, is that it's very uh, you know it's very uh, efficient. So uh, the data set size is very large. Better to use merge statement rather than using SQL.